Hello! In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to create an assignment link inside Blackboard. An assignment link allows you to create a spot that links directly with the Grade Center. Students then can individually submit assignments directly to that assignment link. They will be alerted with an exclamation point in the column of the gradebook related to that assignment. You will have the same alert in that column for the student. If there's an exclamation point in the column for that particular assignment, it means the student has submitted the work and it is now ready for your review and grading. So let's show you how to create an assignment link. You would want to do this if it's something that you don't want to have posted to the discussion board. Maybe you want students to do individual work and just submit it with you. Maybe it, it's a, an assessment that you don't want to have uh, students work together on or you don't want to have somebody else helping a student actually do the work. You'll click on a seminars or a week link over here to the side and you may have a particular seminar folder that you want to place this in. I'll go to the seminar 4 folder here. Then you have some choices of things that you can create and add. To Add an assignment link, you're going to go to this assessment area here, and you see we have this drop-down window that pops up, and we're going to click on assignment for assignment link. So we click on assignment, and we have some choices here, some things that we have to fill out. We can give it a name, and then we can type in the box. Now I actually have some material copied, so I'm just going to place that material in there. This is it particular assignment and I think this is called research project number one. Now whatever you type in this box where it says name this is how it's going to show up in the Grade Center so in order for you and your students to easily identify what this particular assignment is you want to give it a logical name that makes sense so, for, so both of you will have access to being able to read it, visualize it, and see exactly what it refers to. So I just copied and pasted stuff in here. You can do that. You can go ahead and type in here whatever it is that you'd like. Normally the instructions are here for the particular assignment, when it's due, and the point value associated with that particular assignment. Okay. I can also attach a file by clicking on Browse My Computer or Browse Content Collection if something that I have that I want to be linked to this particular assignment link submission spot is in the content collection or my files that's where I would go. The other thing I want to do, I have to do, is to give it some points. So in this particular case the point value is 30, I'm just going to type in 30 and I'm going to hit tab. If I wanted to build a rubric or if there was already a rubric that was in my rubric file library and I wanted to add it, I could go ahead and do that here. Either select a rubric create a rubric or create a rubric from existing. Generally the default allow single attempt is where you want to be but for whatever reason you may want to allow unlimited attempts or a certain number of attempts. You might want it to limit the availability to this assignment link to some specific dates. You don't have to do anything to number five but you may want to put in a date after which it's marked late and this goes to all students so again you just leave the default alone I'm gonna come down here and click submit once I click submit I go down here to the bottom every time you add something it goes to the bottom of wherever you're at and so here's this research project so what a student is going to do is they're going to actually click on this link and post this in this particular set of instructions it says right here, submit your answers to your instructor as an attachment for grading by clicking on the View Complete link below. Uh, actually, this is an old set of instructions. Now what students do is they just click on this hyperlink right here. In other words, the name of the project, the name of the assignment that you just built is right here, and this is what the student clicks on. So you would want to change this information right here. So let's assume that that's what I want to do since I got this error. I just click on this little drop down here to get this menu. I'm going to click on edit 
and I can go in and find that space by clicking on the assignment title. That better explains what it is that we're trying to do. And again, I'm going to click Submit. Okay, so once a student submits the assignment, I'm going to go over here under the Control Panel, Course Management Area, Control Panel, Grade Center. Now I have two choices. I can click on Needs Grading or Full Grade Center. I'm not going to spend any time here because there are tutorials available on how to use the Grade Center. But in this particular purpose, because I want to demonstrate something, I'm going to click on Full Grade Center. So you would have a list of students here, and this is a list of all the assignments that are in this course. And I do want to go all the way to the end, because whenever you add an assignment, whenever you add an assignment, it goes all the way to the end. There's the research project here. So if it's not where I need to be, I'll show you where you need to move that to. In this case, I think I put it in Seminar 4. But if I wanted to figure out what I need to know about this. If I can't remember if this is the right one, here's a couple assessments that sound a lot alike. I might want to get some more details. You see if you hover your mouse there, this is assessment test for training, assessment test for training 2, research project 1. You can also click on this arrow here for more options, quick column information. You get the title, you get the fact that it's an assignment link, score, so that there's going to be a numerical figure in there, points are possible, so forth. I also have the ability from here to go in and edit the column. So this is kind of how I built it here. I can actually edit this particular column and I could change the name if I wanted to because right now this is how it's showing up but if I wanted to make it something different I would. If I needed to adjust the points, anything that I wanted to change, anything that I had preset, I can do that here and then hit submit. So again, that's where it is. If I wanted to move this to a different spot because I don't want it at the very last thing, I just click on Manage. Organize, um, let me go back. I was kind of doing it out of habit. So Manage, Column Organization. And I go grab this research project and I can move it up. I don't know where Seminar 4 starts, but let's say it starts right here. So I'm just going to release it and then you have to hit Submit to lock it in. So that's all there is to creating an assignment link in your seminars folders or your week folders.